Welcome back to my video. I, before we get anything started, I just would like to apologize for the lighting. It looks a little orange, sis. Mm-hmm. Your girl looking like a Oompa Loompa, but it's fine. It's fine. We're gonna change the lighting soon and everything will be better, okay? Okay. <laughs> Welcome back to my channel. It is your girl Essence of Shay, Tiger Lily Squad, Gang Gang. What up? What was popping? In this video, I will be doing a wash day routine. You guys know my wash days. You've seen them before. You've seen plenty of videos out there. But we're doing something different because I'm going to be reviewing the Neutrogena anti-residue shampoo it's been talked about so much that it's time for me to do a review about it so let's get into the video but before we get anything started let's say our daily affirmations today affirmation is do not compare yourself to the internet strangers sis we do it all the time, but we fail to realize that social media just promotes a bunch of highlight reels. Nothing is always that perfecto. This is something that I'm struggling with too, so don't think that you're the only one in this boat, fam bam. Just realize that everyone does not show every part of their life. It would be nice if sometimes we could get a few truths to what's going on in life, but it's their prerogative whether they want to show that or not. But I need you just to realize, do not compare yourself to the internet strangers okay without further ado let's get right into the video Hey y'all, so hopefully you can hear me. I wanted to talk about the um, Neutrogena shampoo. Um, so I don't have a dryer. There are pros and cons when it comes to uh, air drying your hair. The pro is that um, you don't have to worry about sitting under a heater all day and all that jazz. The con is that it takes way longer for it to dry. Also, uh, you can be exposed to mildew in the hair if it doesn't dry 
well, meaning that if you keep your hair up in a bun, um, it, nine times out of 10 in the center will not be dried completely. So my reviews on the shampoo is first I would like to say is that I thought that I honestly would be using a shit ton, I shouldn't cuss, I thought that I would be using a ton of um, this shampoo and I actually didn't, I didn't even use half of it, like legit it the line goes up to where the shampoo uh thing says i want to show you guys probably can't see but it goes up to where the shampoo thing says the shampoo sign um word so that is good um that's that's an a plus also i didn't it doesn't lather as much as I like a shampoo to lather. You almost feel like when a shampoo lathers means that it's actually doing its business, it's doing what it needs to do. Right now, I'm just brushing my hair. You guys know what lock brushing is. If you don't, I'll put a link in the video where I discuss lock brushing and when's the best time to do it and all that jazz. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna brush my hair and then I'm going to just s simply oil it. I'm not gonna use my covet oil right now. I'm only gonna use vitamin E to just oil my scalp. It's already moisturized. I just wanna kinda seal in that moisture. I just washed my hair, so it's moisturized. Right. Also with brushing your hair after you wash it, it will help take out any of the frizzies that are left. You guys thought my hair was short. Look how long my hair is, guys. Can you see? It's like right by my waist. And you guys remember when I cut it like all the way up here. And y'all was like, Shane, are you not? Are you nuts? So yeah, um, the oil, I mean the shampoo is pretty uh, cool. It actually cleaned out a lot of like the stuff I had on the top of my hair or the top of my locks which came from me not like washing my hair for like a whole one and a half months. Right? So you know you get that build up. It cleared out all that build up. I'm looking through the hair and the build up that I saw before, it looks it looks gone to me. And then I didn't even have to use that much. This is what I do every time I wash my hair. I oil it just to seal in the moisture. I usually use my Covet oil, but right now I just want to use vitamin E. How many times do you guys oil your hair a week? Not moisturize, oil it. How much times? Leave in the comment box below. And I'm just using this bottle that I got from Amazon. It's the Sunflower Mega Care Vitamin E. It's specifically for hair. I don't know what makes it specific for hair. I feel like vitamin E can be used on your face as well. But this one says is natural hair oil. Well, I'm pretty sure. You can. Ah! I'm pretty sure you can use it on your face. Don't forget to get the edges, the tips. I have a lot of fallout. 
that happens too with locks. That could mean that your hair was dry. Um, you didn't take care of it. Shedding does happen. It could just be, be because your hair is just naturally shedding. Um, it could be a number of things. I wouldn't suggest really stressing about it until like it seems like overthetop.com, you feel me? But overall, what will I give the Neutrogena shampoo? I will give it an 8 out of 10, mainly because I didn't have to use that much. I didn't have to use that much, to be honest. I went and bought two bottles because I was like, this, there's no way, there's no way that that's going to wash and clear out my whole head. But it did. I also give it an, an 8 because it didn't lather like, this is just a personal preference. I like uh, my shampoo to have some kind of lathering action to it. It makes me feel like it's doing its job. But that didn't stop it uh, from doing its job. But I'll give it an 8. 8.5. Right? Look, the attachments, they're doing really well. All right, y'all. Um, I love you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any other products that you guys want me to try, leave it in the comment box below. They don't send me these things. I got to purchase it. So you got to let me know, and then I can go out and get it. All right, Tiger Lilies. Um, love you guys so much. Mwah. See you later. Hills. Uh, crash course. Let me hide the money in the dashboard. Max mad, could you lost the brick inside the Porsche? Goofy with the curb.